Live life, my people never seen life Seems like we just living trying to get right Dreams like I could boss up the street life But these visions fall short when living in the street life Every day we wake up, we live in constant fears Treading in the same waters we done tread for years Shot down in the streets we used to hang from trees It's 2020 and we still trust our enemies George Floyd and Amari just another case That God used to put our enemies in our face But we don't listen no with some simple jokes, the scripture says two thirds of us gotta go. Fighting for my people, you out here begging for justice. K kings of the earth, no business begging for nothing. Hands up, don't shoot, I'm disgusted. Elijah called fire from the heavens with the sons of the prophets. This right here is Ecclesiasticus, which is what he's reading from. It's also called Sirach. Same thing. It's in the original Bible, but they took it out. And our people don't know. So then when the Bible says there's neither Jew nor Greek, you think that it's talking about so-called white people when it says Greek. But we were forced to become Greeks under the Greek captivity. It was not lawful for us to say that we were Israelites. Right. And the part like we were reading about the wine and stuff, where was that at? Because then they'll try to say, oh, Christ never drank wine, but he says the eyes were red with wine. Meaning it's his first miracle was turning water to wine. He didn't do like people do pour down for his homies. He didn't do that. Right. He drunk the wine. And then his eyes were red. The whites of eyes turn red when we drink alcohol, right? So now, let me get Titus 2 and 2 real fast. Bring it out. Titus chapter 2, verse 2. Bring it out. One of y'all that asked about the role of the woman and about drunkenness. Both of the questions came out. We'll deal with both of them right here. That the aged men be sober, uh -huh. great, temperate. So the aged men, we are our, our aged men must be sober, temperate, be sound in faith sound in faith and charity and charity and patience and patience so while we're older men must not be drunkards they must have the patience right they must also be temperate can't be easily moved right or emotional no man supposed to be emotional right but our older men have taught us what are they even teaching our young men? you know what are they teaching them today to go do this which is emotional that's emotional right because what has that ever done? Nothing. Everybody want to do it because they want to feel good. They want emotion. Right. Emotional. But then a woman actually was the one that was doing most of the speaking. Right. Emotional. Because right. our women are naturally emotional. That's why it's a balance in the household with both. The man ain't supposed to be. She is. Right. But when you remove him, everybody in there emotional. So that right. single that single mother that raised the son up, now he's emotional because he actually doesn't know how to put that aside and think first. Right. right. Because that man is supposed to show him that. Right. He don't. The age woman. The, the, now, now, remember, we just talked about the men, right? Age women now. Read. The age woman, likewise. Uh -huh. Likewise. So just like the man. Read on. That they be in behavior uh -huh. as becoming holiness. Be holy. Separate right. from everybody else. Our women should not look like or act like everybody else. Right. right. That's what holy means. You're not the same. Right. Right. But you lock with your enemy. Right. And say we're the same. But God said, don't be like them. Be holy. Right. Don't be the same. Right. Read. Not false accusers. Not false accusers. Don't our people, don't our women do that now? Gossiping and everything else about each other. Read. Not giving to much wine. Not giving to what? Not giving to much wine. They say not giving to wine at all or much wine. In moderation. Right. You can't get drunk. When you get drunk, now you sin. Right. But our people have no clue that this is written in the Bible, and they'll say that if you drink, you in sin. Thief. No. Christ drank. No. Give me a uh, Timothy. Timothy's two. And we don't. Uh, no. No, we don't, because God and Christ don't. First Timothy, chapter two, verse nine. We we in like manner, also. That woman adore. Drop down to 11. Let's get straight to it. Verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence. Let the woman do what? Let the woman learn in silence. That's what God said. Read on. It's more on. With all subjection. All subjection. Read. But I suffer not a woman. I, the word suffer means I allow. It says I suffer not. I allow not a woman to do what? To teach. That's what the Bible said. 
You right. can't do nothing to Drake. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. And we're going to read that. Read on. No, Tops, you serve authority over the man. When a woman is a pastor, who is she setting herself above? Read on. Saying, you can't, you can't, you serve, she's setting herself up over a man. Right. And God said that's not how it's supposed to be. Right. right. Because when women teach, what comes out? What comes out? Verse Corinthians 14, 33. Huh? Absolutely. And let's see and let's see what that causes in our community. We are the only race of people that got churches on every other corner. Hey, give me hold that. Give me hold that. Give me Mark and four. And I think it's what I want. Oh, is it said? Oh, the one about the devil coming immediately. Hold on, sister. Mark, I want you to hear this. Mark! I know. I chapter four, verse 15. I want you to hear this. And these are they by the wayside. Y'all are those by the wayside. Let's see what happens when y'all are listening to the Bible read. Where the word is so. Because we're sowing the word to you, right? We're giving you the word. Now, after you leave, it's up to you to do what you want to leave. But there also is a judgment if you don't do what God said with you. Read on. But when they have heard. When you hear. While we teaching, what will happen? Satan coming immediately. It's time to go. Satan. It's not by accident, sister. It's not by accident that you're standing there listening and he's ready to go. God said, as we hear, people will pull you away so that you don't get the rest of what you need to hear. Right. right. That's what God said. I didn't write the book. <laughs> we study the book and apply it. And right. we teach it as it is written, not making up no fairy tale stuff to make people feel good. That's, That's not right. what we do. Right. That's not what we do. First Corinthians 14, 33 again. We yep. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. Read it out. For God is not the author of confusion. The, the Bible has not been hard all day for you to understand it. Since you've been here. Because God is not the author of confusion. Did you understand this before you came? Because you've been confused. <laughs> Read on. But of peace. But of peace. Read on. As in all churches of the saints. Uh -huh. Let your woman keep silence. In the churches. Is that hard to understand? <laughs> no, no, no. Not, not say anything. That's not what it means. You're not supposed to be set up as a teacher over the people. The congregation is to be led by men. Right, right. That's what it says. I'm going to show you what you're supposed to teach. Let's get what she's supposed to teach in uh, Titus. 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 Let's go back. Titus. Titus 3. Read. Titus chapter 2, verse 3. Read out. Uh, Yes, we'll finish that. Okay. Titus chapter 2, verse 3. The aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. Read. No false accusers. Read. Not given to much wine. Read. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. What's good according to the Bible? Read out. Teach the children. But what do you teach them? It's saying you got to be teachers of good things. So what do you teach them? What kind of behavior? behavior? What's the good behavior? We think if somebody walks around and the brother says, this is my girlfriend, but he doesn't beat on her, we'll say that's good behavior. <laughs> but does God say that's good behavior? Because he's not supposed to have a girlfriend at all. Right, right. That's good behavior. So we'll say, oh man, that's such a sweet kid. But he's out here on the Sabbath day shopping. Bring it out. Going to the club. No, it, it, husband, 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 and, no, you prove someone, but you prove them. There is no going unsupervised. If I want right. to, I have a wife now, but say I wasn't married to her yet, right? So if I wanted to prove her, I have to go to the father that's over her and actually say, look, I would love to date your daughter or to prove your daughter. Right. But when I do that, guess what I have to do with her? I can't sleep with her. All I, all I, and it has to be supervised. That was in the Bible. Right. It's supervised. Chaperone. So now you want yeah, chaperone. You want to go out with my daughter? Okay, cool. I'm going. Right. That's right. That's right. But where's the fathers to do that? Why don't why don't our women teach our daughters and sons that? That that son, if that's who you want, you don't just go to her. You go to him first. You go to her parents first. Right. 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 Not to her and say, I want to talk to you. How you doing, mom? Let me holler at you for a minute. Let's go hang out. That's not how this goes. Right. It's mother and father, 
I would like to talk to your daughter. Is that all right with you? Because I want her. I want to prove her to see if she can be my wife. Right. Right. It ain't. It ain't the intentions is to get married, not to test it out and illegal. Right. Right. You said in the old days. Right. Right. In the old days? We, we are in 2020. You don't think it's relevant today? We yeah. don't. Look at our single mother households today because the man has tested it out and got her pregnant and left. Right. right. Now, what out now? Now we march and say, I can't breathe. Right. Right. That's right. Now we emotional because we're doing an emotional act. Right. 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 Because where's the man at? Because that woman said, These times are not for me. Right. But because they're not for her, now she finds herself saying, There's no good men. No good men. We're reading about the man that you should be with. The Bible right. told her what she should look for. Right. right. Already. But because our mothers won't teach the children the good Hello. things. You got what good means? Yeah. Read Hello. that in Romans. Let's read that in Romans. Let's see Romans. what good things are. Romans chapter 7, verse 12. Read now, the Bible explains what good is that you got to teach. Read. Where, wherefore, the law is holy. The law, God's commandments. A woman wearing pants is not good. That's right. against God's laws. You will get put to death for doing so. It's right. written in the Bible that Christ is going to kill everybody that is dressed outside of what God said. Right. Right. Just for wearing the wrong clothes. Right. Right. Our people are going to die. Right. All because our women say this 2020, I don't have to wear a dress. It's funny. Bring it our up. great grandmother said I would never put on pants because she knew this. Right. right. But now because a so-called white woman with a last name Bloomer, now we want to go and join a feminist movement that had nothing to do with us. Nothing. Now while our women fight up against the men, and the men ain't in the churches all day. Right. right. Full of black women. Right. Really? to on Sunday. And the only reason why that man is there is because that woman requires him to be there. Right. Not right. Because he want to go. Because he's like, man, this is this is crazy. But he's sitting there because his wife is upset that if he don't go. Right. Right. But why don't he turn around and say, no, we're going to do what God said because his pastor's pimping us, making us pay tithes. Right. right. Tithes was food in the Bible, never money. Right. right. Never money. Right. But we got big churches in the hood, right. in the projects. I right. grew up in them. Right. But the church looks beautiful. Right. The right. pastor rides the best car, but we pay tithes because our mother said so. No. But I believe in them. But what are they? What was tithes in the Bible? Bring it out. I believe it was food because God said it was food. Right. Right. We're going to read it, but read what you got in ministry. that alms those are free will offerings those do not go to a pastor's pocket right, right. they're not for his salary to pay his house bill right, right. he's supposed to work like me right, right. matter of fact don't all us work right, right. we all get jobs right, right. Right. do we ask y'all for money all day but if a pastor taught on sunday did he pass the collection plate today Matter of fact, about three, four times. Right. But yet still, you're learning more about the Bible in a few minutes than you ever have in your whole life. Right. Right. And, nobody, and nobody said, give us a dime. Because guess what we want? The same thing God wants. Repent. Right. 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 Do what he said. Our people don't know nothing about the Bible. Read. Finish. Romans chapter 7, verse 12. Uh -huh. Wherefore, the law is holy uh -huh. and the commandment holy. Uh -huh. And just. So the commandments of God are just and what? And good. So what is our women supposed to be teaching our kids? The laws of God. Yes, I have a wife that teaches my son the commandments. He's two and can quote them back to me. Right, right. right. But, but we think, oh, I can't do that because he's too young. But if that woman actually was taking that time to deal with him instead of put him in front of a TV, now he knows. Right. right. Is that it on that? Yeah. Read. Re, uh, no, yeah, finish that where you at. About the good. Start at verse 3. Titus chapter 2, verse 3. We're going to watch this thought. Read on. The aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. Read on. Not lost children. Read on. Not given to much wine. Read on. Teachers of good things. They are to teach the laws. To who? Read on. That they may teach the young woman <laughs> to be sober. So they're supposed to teach the young women now to be sober, not to be drunk. That's yes, right. Not to be drunk, not to be high, out your mind. Read. To love their husbands. To love who? To love their husbands. Our women will say, I know how to love my husband, but God said you must be taught how to do it. Right, right. 
you have our women with the pride to say, you ain't got to tell me how to love. I know how to love. God said you must be taught. Right. So our women actually don't know how to love their husband. Right. right. Because some women will run that man that want to be there out of the house. To love their children. Our women must be taught how to love their children. Right. If you don't teach them God's laws, you actually have not shown your children real love. Right. right. Because you're actually helping them walk out the door so when they grow up and start driving, when the police come behind them, that's judgment. Right. We think that this stuff happens by accident. No, these things are happening because God is letting it happen to show us we must do something different. Right. right. When are we going to do that? When are we going to try God? We tried everything else too. We've been trying to watch this what we just did today. Right. right. And the police, matter of fact, they've been marching in Atlanta for a week, right? Didn't yesterday they just killed the dude at the Wendy's? Right. They just did it. And they just was marching. We was just that. They was just marching. And they did it the same day, not nighttime, daytime. Right. Same exact thing. What has it done? Nothing. Zero. So why do we continue to be insane to do the same thing over and over and expect a different result? Why don't we do what God said? We haven't done this yet. Right. right. About that. Why don't we do that? Read on. Right. To be discreet. To be discreet. That's not it. That's, that's not sitting up. You literally walking around wanting to be seen. You don't want to be seen. Discreet means you private. You ain't in everybody's face. You're not right. trying to be loud up in a man's face. Right. right. Talking about women. Remember this. Because our women, aren't they the opposite of what we're reading? I say, well, I don't know no clothes on. You've seen a lot of them with no no clothes, no secrecy, no shame about it, nothing. Right. Showing everything they got. But we supposed they're supposed to be dressed modestly, meaning to not attract sexual attention. Right. But they're trying to do so. But then when that dude that they trying to attract get with them and leave them, now he ain't no good. That's what he was looking for. Right. right. <laughs> Read. Chase. Chase. Uh huh. Keepers at home. Keepers where? Keepers at home. Not in the streets. A million man march ain't more women than That's right. <laughs> How that happened? <laughs> a million man march had more women than Right. But this says they supposed to be at home. Bring it on. Read. Good. Obedient. Good and obedient because our women hate to hear that word, obedient. Obedient to who? Obedient to their own husbands. You know why our women hate that? Because they want to be the same as us. Right. God said, you're not. Right. Our women are under us. But That's that doesn't right. mean that I mistreat my wife, that I beat my wife. Right. Not at all. I have to. Matter of fact, I have to be willing to die for my wife. Right. right. And, if I, and that's actually why I'm here. I'm willing to die right here for my wife. Right. right. That's why we all come out here. Get out. Because we don't want our wives to continue to get beat up as a nation. Right. right. And guess what my wife say when I get ready to leave? Shalom, my lord. Lord willing, I see you when you get back. Love you. Give me a hug. Hey, go teach the people. That's my wife. Right. She's revolutionary. These women that come out here are not revolutionary. Right. right. Because if they were, why ain't they doing what the revolution says to do? Right. What about our men? Why aren't we looking for this type of woman? Why are we looking for that woman that ain't like that? Right. We looking for what we see. What you said. Everybody walk around half naked. That's what we looking for. And then when we get it, oh man, ain't no good women. Now we talk about ain't no good women now. You know, we, it's completely an oxymoron for both sides to say there's no good ones at all. Really? And then we go marry the other nations, have babies with them, when God said we in sin when we do so. Right. You know? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.